Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to our new series entitled When Life Met Revelation I did a little shura on Facebook and I asked everybody what topics would they like to learn about and for each person to vote up the suggestions that they liked. Well the topic that was most voted for was what were the lessons that you, Muhammad al-Sharif, learned in your life and I added to that not only what are the most profound lessons that I've learned, but what does the Quran and Sunnah teach us about those lessons. So to start off today's episode of When Life Met Revelation, let me take you back, way back. The year is 1992. Muhammad al-Sharif is walking through the mall. You see, in those days, we didn't have Twitter to send us countless streams of a motivational quotes. Muhammad al-Sharif used to go into an art store and in the art store as he would flip through the different posters he found a poster that had a message on it and he was just floored by this message. The poster when he lifted it up and he looked at it it depicted someone in a canoe in a rowing boat and they're rowing rowing and at the bottom of the poster it said Decide what you want, then do what you have to do. And little Muhammad al-Sharif's eyes just wide and open. Decide what you want, then do what you have to do. I count that lesson, decide what you want and do what you have to do, is one of the most profound things that I've learned in my life. See, the key point from that message is that there's no time for excuses. You just have to do what you have to do in order to get what you need. All right. So here it is. Decide what you want, then do what you have to do. Let's look at where this applies and where we can find this in the Quran and Sunnah. And don't say that you can't do it and don't give up. Now this hadith, in fact, whenever I'm giving you know, a list of motivational Qur'an and Sunnah type of comments, this hadith for me comes right at the top because the Prophet ﷺ said that you need to stick to something, adhere to it, and don't say that you can't do it. And then the continuation of the hadith is, so what if, you know, um, and I'm just you know, commenting here, what if I go forward and I try sticking to that which brings me benefit? I decided what I wanted, I'm going towards it, but then obstacles hit me. The Prophet ﷺ said that if anything difficult happens to you, don't say, لَوْ أَنِّي فَعَلْتُ كَذَا وَكَذَا كَانَ كَذَا وَكَذَا This is the continua- continuation of the hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said that if some, you know, uh, something ill befalls you, that you shouldn't say, if only I had done such and such, then such and such would have happened. Basically, it's like saying, oh, there was an accident. Oh, you know what? If I had shown up for class on time, then the accident would happen. Oh, you know what? If, if, if. Prophet ﷺ said, don't say if. And for me, that's, there's no excuses. You don't say if. You just say, as the Prophet ﷺ taught us, قَدَّرَ اللَّهُ مَا شَاءَ فَعَلْ That this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed, and whatever He wish happens, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let me give you two examples from my life where I've applied this motto of decide what you want then do what you have to do. The first thing was in the University of Medina. There were some students in the University of Medina who basically had Sharia degrees in their home countries and then came to Medina University. Um, you know, we would study and then they would know all the answers and you know, discuss with the teachers and on exam time they would leave after 30 seconds they would just be like, I'm done the exam, they would leave. And I'm sitting there for like two hours trying to answer these questions. I decided that, you know, decide what I want and I wanted to get good marks on the exam. I wanted to be like them. And I said to myself, I have to do what I have to do. So maybe this person um, can answer the exam in 30 seconds, but if I want the same mark as this person, then I need to study twice as hard, you know, four times as hard, whatever it takes, but I will do what's necessary in order to get what I want. I do what I have to do. In another scenario where I find that this applies is after I graduated from Medina University, came back to North America, and I saw the Dawa scene, right, that's happening in North America. And a lot of times people would do like an activity and there would be really dismal turnout to those activities. Right, you have a halaqa and you know two people show up, this guy's friend and his brother, something like that, right? And then they would then say to the volunteers, hey, you tried your best. And you know, when they would say that statement, oh, you tried your best, 
in my mind, it would kind of like infuriate me. I'm like, say wallah that you tried your best. Say wallah that you tried your best. Two people showed up and you're telling me that that's the best you can do? So it would make me mad because I had this motto in my mind, decide what you want, then do what you have to do. How many people do you want to show up to your event? You want 100? Do you want 400? Do you want 1,000? Do you want 10,000? How many people do you want? You just have to do what you need to do in order to get that. There is no place for excuses. All right, my friends, that's episode number one, When Life Met Revelation. I'm going to answer the top three questions in the comments below, inshallah ta'ala. So if you see a question that you like, you can ask a question or you can read other people's question and just put a comment. And inshallah ta'ala, the top three questions I will answer. Bi-idhnillah. It's Muhammad al-Sharif saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Doesn't that make sense? When life met revelation.